So if you're a natural chipper of the golf ball and you try to pitch it, you're gonna have problems because you're gonna take a short swing and try to accelerate. It's gonna be all out of whack. If you're a natural pitcher and you try to chip it, you're gonna take a long swing and have to slow down and bad things are gonna happen there too. So you have to know who you are and what to play. And there's a big difference between chipping and pitching because even this little 80 yarder is a pitch chip that's gonna pay off if you know it. Let's go make a birdie. Today we're out at the Polo Golf and Country Club here in Cumming, Georgia, North Georgia. It's part of the Club Corp family of golf courses. Link in the video description below. They have memberships all around the country. So be sure to check them out. See if there's something there that just might work for you. Close. All right, so talking about the difference between pitching and chipping, what we normally hear is this, a chip shot, you would be much closer to the green and you would be doing something like this. Ball, feet close together, ball in the middle, maybe back, hand center, could be forward, and you're just doing this little short swing here, right? That's a, a chip shot, pitch shots, very similar, maybe slightly wider stance, ball in the middle, hand center or forward, whatever you prefer. Okay, weight still forward, same as the other one. And the pitch shot is from here, let's say here to here, a little longer swing. But from this point to this point, it's the same as the chip shot. The only thing we're doing different is going here to here and just letting our body do its thing. The problem I have with this is the fact that we're doing the exact same thing. We're, it's just a little bit longer swing. We just are calling one a chip, one a pitch. Here's why I am confused about that uh, method. I could, it looks like a pitch shot. I could pitch it, easy, right? Could hit a little pitch shot right here. Let it run up there. Dude, I could putt it, right? It's a similar swing as the pitch even, because it's a long putt. So why don't I call that a pitch? I could chip it if I wanted to. Here's my eight iron. Well, that's a little chip shot, but I just have a lot more club. Well, let's try that one. But normally you wouldn't chip this, would you? Huh. I mean, I just chipped it, ran up there, I got a birdie putt. All right, so the problem I'm having is we're using so many different types of shots, it's messing us up. So I wanna keep it simple. What I want us to do, and it's going to, I think, help your short game out immensely, is do just one shot the whole time. Either you're always gonna do a chip or you're always gonna do a pitch. Whichever is easier for you, pick that one. All right, Mr. Green to the right and I'm gonna do the chip method. So everything to me is gonna be a chip. So you know the setup, feet close together, weight forward, hands middle. You could go forward if you like, I, I don't. I, I like center right here. And this is gonna be my, my chip swing. All that's different about this is I have more club than if I were gonna use a pitch, okay? Because I want it to carry less. I don't wanna carry it so far, but it's the same exact swing. So I'm just going to hit the chip. All right, here's where things get exciting because no matter where you are, inside 100 yards, you're going to use your method. So right now we're doing chip shot method. 46 yards. This is where you are like, okay, I do chip shots. I don't have to go over anything, which is good. If you did, you could still use chip shot method. We'll go over that next. But for here, chip shot method gets me low. Let's just go uh, 46 yard, eight iron. Do a little bit higher, eight iron. Sound good? So 
that's great. Now, my swing is longer, but I'm still basically chip shot theory, chip shot theory, which would be here. That's also a putt, but we got to go a little longer. But don't think pitch. Think, hey, this is chip, chip shot method. So my setup, I'm choking down, just helps me. You can do that if you wish. And I'm chipping this with a little longer swing. I'm just going to let it run up there. Okay, so what do we do in this scenario if we're a chip shotter? Now, chip shot, we are going shorter swing. Pitch shot, it would be a little bit longer, but we are more comfortable with chip shot method. So we have to go high over a bunker. Here's what we do in this particular case that you can have the best success. So first things first, chip shotters, uh, don't use your 60 degree wedge, even though you have to go high. 54 or your next wedge is a good idea. You could do that. I'm going to make it even harder. I'm going 50 because I'm, um, that's just more comfortable for me with chip shot methods. We just got to make sure we open that face up a lot. It gives us a lot of bounce to work with, a lot of forgiveness. Then the only other piece we have to worry about is this. We really open up that face. Just aim a little left. You're going to have to practice this a little bit to know how far to aim left because your face is going to be pointed to the right. So you got to get comfortable with how far, just, you know, what the good ratio here is. And then you're just doing your normal chip shot, you know, method and you're good to go. I could take a divot because I didn't dig in with that leading edge. I did it with a bounce of the club and it popped it high 50 degree wedge. You don't need the 60 if you're using chip shot method. All right, so here's what happens to you natural pitchers that have a little bit longer swing and you have this little, let's chip shot is what they call it. Uh, you take the chip shot approach when you shouldn't because you're not used to that because you are a natural pitcher, okay? Everybody's different. So you gotta go with your strength. So you would, if you're a natural pitcher and you did the chip shot method, you, it would look like either that because you took a long swing and you had to slow down because you knew it, or you would have your long swing and you would send that thing way over the green, all because you're not playing to your natural strengths. So we can't do that. Don't chip it if you're a pitcher and you know who you are. Take a much more lofty club. I'm not even gonna use the 60 degree, I'm gonna use the 54. But again, here's what I want you to do. I want you to open that face up quite a bit and utilize the bounce as forgiveness. And the key elements for the pitchers are, you're gonna take a longer swing because that's who you are. And then I just want you to take an extra light grip because that's who you are. And then you're good to go, right? You know your setup, you're gonna open up, you're gonna open that face, you're gonna aim a little left because you're trying to get that face square and you're doing this thing. And what I want you pitchers to do is just bounce that club off the ground, right there, just behind the ball. You can hit it a little fat, don't be afraid of that, but just bounce that bounce off the ground. And then you're gonna utilize your natural strength of that longer swing. And it doesn't really matter which method you choose. If you know who you are, you can have success using both methods. That's what's great about this great game. You just have to know the difference and you have to know who you are. And some of us can play multiple shots and that's fine too. If you want a video on a seven iron versus a wedge, click over here. Love you guys. See you in the next video.